Do you struggle with long-term RV trip planning? Where to go? How long to stay? How far to travel? It can all be overwhelming. Well, I have some great tips for you next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz and I've been a full-time RVer for four years and I almost quit in the beginning because of the planning process. In this video, I'm going to share my secrets to making RV trip planning easier. I woke up in my camper in a Walmart. I was four months into my full-time RV living journey and I was like, I think I'm gonna quit. I don't like RV life. For the last month, I'd been winging it. I had no campground reservations. I was in Florida in the winter and I was bouncing around between a friend's driveway, a kind of sketchy county park, and the Walmart parking lot. I was not enjoying RV life. Since then, I figured it out and I can't wait to share my RV travel tips with you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm on a mission to hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you for bringing me a little bit closer each day. The first tip is begin with the end in mind. If you're doing long-term travel, you probably have an end goal. If you're a full-time RVer, Think about winter. There's a million of us out on the road, but as the weather gets colder, we all head south. Most full-time RVers are either in California, Arizona, Texas, or Florida. I would have to say Florida is warmer and there's maybe a lot more things to do because of the coast, but it's also more expensive. If you want to save money, your best bet is to look in remote areas of Florida like Lake Okeechobee. Well, a year ago, I'd had back surgery, I didn't make reservations, and I realized it was getting close to January and I was going to be in Florida with no reservations. If you go North Florida, you will find some campgrounds and they're pretty reasonable. California is also not cheap to winter. I think there's less campgrounds, but if you move away from the coast, more towards the desert, you will find some reasonable places to stay for the winter. I've never stayed in Texas, but I have heard about the freezes in the winter. If you know where I can stay in Texas where there's no chance of freezing, let me know in the comments. I'm in Arizona this winter, and I have to say the campgrounds are reasonable and the weather is perfect. The next thing is to think about your theme or your goal. Why are you out here doing RV life? What do you wanna come back with? Maybe you wanna see all the car museums across the US or see all the lighthouses. Well, my goal is to see all the national parks and that really helps me with my route planning. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be in Yosemite for a month. I would love to meet you. I'd love to have lunch or go hiking with you, but I can't put that kind of information out here on YouTube. So. I've created a Patreon page where I share my travel information and more personal information. In fact, I do little videos almost every week of stuff that I would never put on YouTube. I even do a sneak peek of each video so you know what's coming next. Now, the Patreon is as cheap as $5 a month. So if you want more, if you want to meet up with me, then check it out. So now that you have your theme and your end destination, you can draw a line from where you are to where you're gonna end up. For me, I do like to plan my travel a calendar year at a time, just kind of a sketch outline, so I kind of know what part of the country I'm gonna be in for that year. As you plan out your travel, avoid the number one newbie mistake for full-time RVers. When I was in Oregon, I met a couple that had just sold everything, sold their house, and they had just started RV life. And the wife turns to me and she says, you know, I'm not liking this. I, I think we're gonna go back to a house. And I was like, really? Well, how long have you been doing this? Three and a half weeks. Well, where did you start? Florida. I have to say, I would not like RV life either if I started in Florida and I ended up in Oregon three and a half weeks later. There's just not enough time to really see the country and enjoy life. It seems like on the move, on the move, on the move. When I started out RV life, I moved every few days because I had a camper van, then I had a fifth wheel, and now I have a motorhome. So since I had the fifth wheel, I've been traveling every two to three weeks. Now this upcoming year, I'm gonna be moving about every four weeks. I think it's a lot harder to travel too slow than travel too fast. There's always something new to see and explore. There's more neighbors to meet and just have that time to relax, to put out your patio mat, to open your awning and just enjoy your camper and enjoy relaxing. You don't have to go, 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 see, see, see all the time. I think a lot of this life is an adjustment for people that you have time 
to just relax and enjoy and see. Now I follow the rule of three when I travel, 300 miles or three o'clock, whichever comes first. I don't travel on weekends, I don't travel at nights. I travel when the repair shops are open because you never know. Now I had an incident two years ago where I had a flat tire. I was traveling on a Saturday and I very nearly did not get to the tire shop in time. If I had been like 15 minutes later, they would have been closed for the whole weekend. As you plot your trip out, you'll probably be like, well, where do I stop? What towns do I choose? Well, here's what I do. Anytime I've never been to a town, I just put it in Google Images and then I decide, okay, there's plenty to see, I'm gonna stop or maybe not and I'll just move on. That's how I discovered Smith Rock. I'd never been to Bend, Oregon before, so I put in Bend in Google Images and this really cool rock formation showed up and I saw that I could hike it, I could fly my drone over it. It looked really pretty. I also learned there's a place called Paulina Point, which was worth seeing, and the Cascade Mountains. When I first started RV trip planning, I made it so hard on myself. I used an Excel spreadsheet and I had to do the math as to how many miles between each spot. And then I would look at the weather and try and figure out what the weather was gonna be. Well, there is a great tool that will do it all for you and make it so easy. It's called RV Trip Wizard and I've been using it for the past year. So once you know what town you wanna stop in, you put that in the search bar and all the campgrounds will come up. You can change the settings so that you only have state parks or that you only have thousand trails or KOAs, whatever. You can set those parameters so that you can find exactly the type of campgrounds you're looking for. Then when you click on the campground, you can see the reviews, you can see how many stars. There's images of the campground ground and there's even the weather so you can see the average temperatures for the time of year that you're going to visit. Once you make the reservation you just add it into your trip planner. You can put in how long your camper is, how tall it is, and it will do the route planning for you. It will automatically tell you how many miles between each stop. There's so much you can put in there. You can say avoid toll roads, avoid dirt roads, that kind of thing. This is my first year of travel that I actually entered in to RV Trip Wizard. I love looking at it. I've actually made place maps because I have four of these now. And I can see all my stops, where I started, where I ended up, and it's just fun to look at. Then on the back, I put the list, this is straight from the planner, I didn't type this in, of all the stops, how many miles between the stops, and my total mile for this trip. Now this is my first year, I did 9,687 miles. RV Trip Wizard is only $59 a year, but don't pay full price, I can get you 25% off. Just put in amazing 25 and you'll save 25%. And there's a seven day free trial, so check it out. To recap, you can make your RV trip planning easier by beginning with the end in mind. Decide on your theme so that you know the areas that are important to you along the way. Enjoy the journey. Don't travel too fast. Take your time and take in all the sites. Use Google image search to find great stops along the way and RV trip wizard to make the planning easier. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know your RV trip planning tips in the comments. And as always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.